Mommy Space, a place where you can remember who you are in the midst of it all. This podcast gives moms of all stages a voice to share their experiences and the truth that there is no right way to mom. Welcome back to Mommy Space. This is Bree, and today I'm here with Ali Roth. Welcome to the show, Ali. Thank you for having me. Yes. Actually, Ali and I go back actually quite a while. Um, I think back to high school uh, yeah. through mutual friends, an old boyfriend of mine, and um, <laughs> and also just like church stuff too. Um, but I have so loved watching you from afar, even though we haven't been like super connected in the past couple of years, but, um, I was just telling her before we started, um, I'm usually laughing when I'm, you know, reading or, or watching one of her videos. Um, she just has a great sense of humor and, uh, especially within motherhood, it seems like so, but I'm excited to talk to you today. Would you just share a little bit about yourself and family life and kind of what daily life looks like for you? Sure. Okay, well, I live in Vista, California, which is in North County, San Diego. We moved this way right before my son was born. We were living in Corona. Um, My parents are pastors at a church this way, and they moved a couple months right before my son was born. And uh, we were like, what are we going to do? I'm not ready for this. (laughs) So (laughs) we ended up moving in with them. And I know that you know what that's like. So I lived with my parents for about four years. Um. And then we just, in May, moved to our own place. So oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. It's That's pretty so great. Cool. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And so I have three kids. Luca is four. Laney is three. They're 12 months apart, almost to the day. No way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Lexi is almost 10 months old. Oh, so. wow. And I'm married to Adam, who's the best. So. <laughs> Don't forget him. Yeah. A lot, so. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Will you just kind of catch us up to date then? Um, what was the story of your journey into motherhood like? Were you guys trying to have kids? Um, and then you can kind of bring us up to speed with where you're at now. Okay. Well, no, we were not planning on having <laughs> kids. We, <laughs> well, we were eventually, just not when it happened. Yeah. So we were married for about um, four months, and then I found out I was pregnant, wow. and it was a whirlwind. And we lived in this tiny, like, 600-square-foot studio apartment, <laughs> and <laughs> it didn't have, like, a separate – it was a kitchen and a bed and a bathroom all there together. Wow. And so it was like, we can't have a baby here. Yeah. So um, we were – like, okay, well, I we guess we're going to do this. And so that was fun. And then, like I said, we moved with my parents. And then when Luca was about four months old, I found out that I was pregnant again. Oh, my gosh. That four-month mark for you, huh? That's yeah. Crazy. I mean, that's my, it must be my thing. Four months, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so, yeah, when I found out I was having another baby, I was like, I am going to die. Oh, so cool. Have a great life. But oh. it ended up being – um really awesome. Lainey is so much fun. I couldn't imagine her not being in our family. She just kind of completes us. And so um, after I figured out how to have the two of them, it was really weird. (laughs) I did it again. Um, (laughs) After I found out how to have the two kids, um, we just decided we were ready to do it again for real. So So the third was um, on purpose then. Yeah, more nice. on, well, more on purpose. Not, okay, not sure, a, sure. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dang, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So what's it like having three kids in your home? Like, what, what does your oh, daily man. life look like? So crazy. My <laughs> kids, so I see these moms who, like, have perfect schedules, and I have no idea. <laughs> I, literally, I can't, I cannot figure it out. So I am not, like, a super scheduled person. I'm mm-hmm. very, like, glow with the flow, yeah. like, so we wake up. I'm usually woken up. It's a rare day if I wake up before the kids. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of library time, park time. Um, nice. Yeah, we read a lot of books, watch a lot of movies. But nice. um, we, yeah, I was working um, for a while, and I just recently stopped working about two weeks ago um, wow. because I was just in this place where – 
ever rolling. It was like constant, like tumbleweed, t- tornado, chaos. And mm-hmm. I would wake up and just instantly have to be doing something. And no matter what I was doing, whether I was working or I was at home with the kids or if I was focused on them, I always had something else mm-hmm. in my mind that I needed to be taken care of. Mm-hmm. And so I like wasn't good. Things were not good for me. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that just happened about two weeks ago. And that's where I've been. So now I quit my job and I'm fully focused on the kids, which wow. is actually just as crazy. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, how does that happen? Right. When you take one thing yeah. away, it's like, wait, I thought it was going to be like so much more easy. Right? But uh... yeah, they just like, no. So they just they came up to speed with me. Yeah. Like, oh, you have more time here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so you mentioned before we started talking that you kind of had this like breakdown as far as like with quitting your job um if you're comfortable would you kind of share like what your life has been like and and what does that mean to you like what what was that process like because I know um there are probably a lot of mamas who can relate to like coming to this breaking point and needing to make some changes, but not really knowing like how to take that step forward or, or whatever. But um, yeah. So yeah, um, it just was kind of like in my brain, like my I had two different people almost fighting for my attention. There was motherhood me and there was working me. And I'm the type of person who wants to do everything. If we're going to do something, I'm full in no matter what. Like I'm there. I'm excited and I'm there. And when you have kids, you kind of can't be that person you have to be partly always focused on them and you don't really have a choice and so um I was doing graphic design for my church and um I was just very focused and I you know there's a lot of things when you're in ministry I mean you know how ministry is that you 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 just say yes because you know it's good it's good things it's not like a nagging boss. It's like, right. I'm working for Jesus. I want yeah. to do it well. And it was just really hard, hard time because I was very, very exhausted. My brain was fried. I wasn't, like I said, focused on, on anything. I was constantly distracted. And I had this really long talk um, with Adam just about where I was. And I was very low. I felt very depressed, very like, oh, I can't do it. Like, I might as well not do anything because mm. no matter what I do, I'm going to let someone down. I'm going to be failing at something. Mm. And he kept telling me probably for months, just maybe you should quit your job. And I was like, I can't. Mm. They need me so much, you know, mm. and not to mention that I work for my dad. So mm. I've said he's a pastor. So well, not, no only like, yeah, not only oh. is it like I have to quit, but I have to go to my dad yeah. and say, I can't anymore, which was adding an extra layer of just difficulty to it. Cause I didn't, you know, especially being a pastor's kid, you just yeah. see a side of pastors that other people don't really see. Wow. And so, yeah, I ended up having a conversation and I just wept and bawled Aww. like a baby. The whole time. Wow. I actually wrote down everything I was feeling and everything I wanted to say. And I sat in his office and I just cry read it the whole way through. Wow. And so, Wow. It was really sweet. Afterward, he just like hugged me, you know, like any dad would and just, yeah. you know, he understood. But yeah, um, yeah so now it's, it's been better. It's definitely I'm not as distracted, but it was amazing, you know, how quickly the team figured it out. You mm. know, like I thought they're going to they're yeah. never going to make it. Wow. You know? I have to be there. But yeah. like in a week they were like, yep, it's cool. And I was like, wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. I, I mean. I can't relate fully, but, um, I recently just stepped down from some ministry stuff too. Um, and it is crazy, like, because it is, you know, a good, it's a, it's for a good purpose, right? Like, and it's not stuff that you don't like typically. Like for me, it was getting to do worship and like singing and playing guitar. Like, I love that. But, um, when it's not the right timing, like it doesn't matter how much you love it. Like it's right. going to add pressure and it's going to feel like work, you know? Right. Um, but I really love your perspective. Just, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize it was for your, um, for your dad. Like that would be totally like another level, but like right. how brave <laughs> that you were like felt yes. like, yeah, man, like that's, <laughs> that's incredible. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been, yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. I also, um, I've led worship there for the past four years too. Wow, and so wow. 
yeah, they ended up like a, probably a couple months ago, they found another worship director, which was great. And he's awesome. And I love him. And I um, so cool. serve with him still sometimes. But even that pressure was taken off a couple months yeah. ago. And still I was like, yeah, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. So yeah. it's, yeah, it's been great, though, to oh. be able to be focused. You know, sure. I just know that the kids, the kids are at this age, you know, where they they need a mom and they need yeah. someone. And yeah. I was like, well, anyone clearly, as I can told you, anyone can do that job yeah. at church, but yeah. nobody's going to be able to be their mom. That's yes. my job. Yes. You know, so I want to do that well. So, well, I had yeah. someone recently like share with me because, you know, I, I posted something a while back on, um, on the mommy space Instagram about like, it feels weird. Like not going to church this morning. Like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. And she like texted right. me and very sweet, sweetly reminded me like she will only be this, this age one time. And right. like, and you can go to church for the rest of your life. Like, exactly. you know, and, um, yeah. but I just, yeah, that's so true. And yeah, I love, I love, um, what you said as far as like, Uh, it got picked up like it right you know like it got taken care of like sometimes it feels like we I don't know I can totally get caught in the trap of like but they need me like me specifically like I'm the only one who could do this like but yeah I love that wow yeah dang so it's been good it's been crazy yeah and I and I still go to church and I see you know just yeah how great everything still goes so yeah yeah but yeah well, okay, so I love to um, talk to moms about, like, their passions in life and, like, what brings mm-hmm. them life and joy. Um, and obviously this is going to be kind of cool to hear your take now just with this transition that you're in. Um, but what are some things that bring you life, like, outside of motherhood and, like, do those things – do you feel like those things fuel your motherhood journey? Yeah, okay. Outside of motherhood's yeah, hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. I definitely, um, I love friends. I love going and being with my friends. I love Target aside from everything. So I just go to Target. I just, <laughs> I just interviewed alone. someone else who said the same thing. That's awesome. <laughs> what? It's, it's like magical in there. It's like, <laughs> like some dust floating through the air. But, Honestly. Um, <laughs> but I do. I value friendship and I value um, just conversations and laughing and having mm. fun. And so I, as much as I can, you know, try to get some time away at night after the kids go to bed to go be with friends or go do something. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't always happen, but I definitely, I definitely couldn't do motherhood without like a, that sense of community and yeah. that sense of like people who understand me. So, yeah. um, that's probably one. And then I love writing music. Mm-hmm. I haven't write, written music for a long time, but I recently just set up my keyboard in my room, yes. front room again and been trying to play more and write mm-hmm. some songs, but yeah, I do a lot of crazy things. So awesome. <laughs> everything just brings me so much joy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I remember you. Um, I remember watching you lead worship like back in the day and being like, dang, this girl, she's got it. <laughs> <Stop> it. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. Oh, but that's thanks. that's awesome. Um, so what are some things then that you do? Like, well, it sounds like you just kind of threw a couple of those in there maybe, but, um, that you do to take care of your heart and take care of yourself, like in the midst of, um, your week or month or whatever. Right. Yeah. Like I said, friends, but I'm like also really into reading and being Mm -hmm. quiet. And so (laughs) I try to find times throughout the day that I can just sit and the kids are distracted and I can read or I can journal or do something yeah. because I need quiet as well, as much fun as I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need some time. I need peace. Yeah. So I definitely I try to read, try to write, try to learn. Um, wow. I love learning and I love like teaching. And I don't feel like I can be a good teacher if I'm not a good learner. So mm-hmm. I'm always trying to fill my brain with newness. So yeah. what are some things that you're reading right now that have uh, that are kind of fueling those things for you? Yeah, I'm reading a devotional called Embraced by, I can never say her name, Lisa Turkust, I guess her name is. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, what's her name? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. She's, a, she's an author. Um, <laughs> I read, I love novels. So mm-hmm. I just read stories all the time. Yes. Um, and also the Bible. I read, I'm trying to read the Bible in a year right now, but they give you so much at one time. I'm like, nobody's oh, got an hour God. to sit here. <laughs> and so it's going pretty slow. Uh, <laughs> so yeah 
that. Just a lot of different books. I try to keep it all. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice to have it like peppered different genres. Like, yes. Yeah. I feel you. That's awesome. (laughs) Okay. So have you experienced mom guilt in your walk so far? And if so, (laughs) how do you overcome it? Oh man. Yeah. Talk about mom guilt. Mm -hmm. That was like the whole whole thing that just happened to me was all Mm -hmm. mom guilt and anything like it could be anything just I'm you know I feel guilty if I don't let the kids sleep in my bed I feel guilty if I don't if I leave the door or I mean sorry if I don't shut I'm saying it wrong (laughs) if I have to shut the door to go to the bathroom you know I feel like gosh wow yeah yeah totally I, I when Luca was born I like told myself inside I don't know why that whenever he needed me or whenever he called me, I was going to go and I was going to be there. So like in the middle of the night, if he wants me, I'm going to, you know, and now he's four and he has this habit. So (laughs) there's been a lot of guilt and I find myself no matter what the thing is, just blaming myself Mm. and feeling like it's all my fault. And, um, what's gotten me through those moments is realizing that yes, I'm their mom, but at the same time, I'm just a human. Mm. I'm only, you know, one person I'm doing, I'm honestly can say without a doubt, I'm doing my very best Mm. and, um, just accepting that life is just what it is. And, Mm. uh, every day is just a day and there's always tomorrow. Yeah. And the more times that I can take hold of bad moments and bad days and turn them around and realize it doesn't make a, bad life it just is a moment um yeah, that's so and good. makes things better so and just letting myself off the hook like I said just yeah. realizing um you know I'm just one person yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't do it all and my kids shouldn't need only me so mm, that's good yeah it's really good um Thanks. one question side side note are you feeling guilty for being in the garage right now <laughs> no, I the guilt wears off from about six to eight when it's like <laughs> bedtime. I'm like, I don't care about it. Yeah. No, no. that's so funny. There is totally a switch. I felt that too. Like, well, sorry, yeah. kid. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, After man. I get my little two minute break for bedtime, I'm like, oh, those yeah. kids are the best. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. <laughs> Like as you're falling asleep, like scrolling right. through old pictures and videos. Exactly. Like, oh, man. Stalking myself on Instagram. <laughs> like, oh, remember. Yeah. Uh, that's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So when you hear the word legacy, um, what comes to mind for you? And, and what is the legacy that you want to leave for your children? Mm, so instantly I thought about my parents. They just on Monday celebrated their... 30th anniversary wow. and um, yeah it's pretty great they've been pastors my entire life wow. they pour into everybody you know they wow. are constantly giving and when I think about them and I think about how they've always worked as, as a team and how you know they raised me and I'm pretty great no <laughs> but, <laughs> they did a Check. pretty good job with me you know? um that I want to be like that. Like I want to be someone that um, people in the community and around me can come to and know that I care about them. Like genuinely, I want my kids to know that they can always come to me. Um, I had a pretty great childhood and I'm very thankful for that because I know a lot of, a lot of people don't get what I had Mm -hmm. and um, I don't want to take that for granted. And I want to be that type of person. I want me and Adam to have the teamwork and the closeness that they had and, um, yeah, that's what I think about first. And awesome. just I want to be like, I want to be someone that my kids look up to and say, I want to be like them. So, mm. you know, so, wow. yeah, that's so cool. And how sweet that you like that. The first thing you think of is your parents. Like, that's a huge deal. Um, Like you said, like, there's not many people who like think that automatically. And I just think that's so special. Mm. Um, OK, so I have kind of a random question that just kind of came okay. to mind, but. I'm okay. always, like, so impressed by the way that you um, – I, I don't know. Obviously, like, it's – I'm seeing you through the social media window, right? But right. I love how um, you love your husband and the things that you say and the way that you, like, uplift him, like, even on social media. Um, and I guess I, I'm trying to, like, formulate a question in my mind for this. But, like, okay. I just wonder, like, what are some of the things that you love um, about your husband and, like, what is it – um, like that you feel like makes you a team? 
Oh, good question. Thanks. I <laughs> that's good formulation Thank right you. in the moment. Um, <laughs> I would say he is one of the most um, consistent, also persistent, but consistent people. Um, he's extremely loyal hmm. and um, he's the kind of caring person where he cares about everything like to a fault to where it's almost annoying, you know, where it's like, <laughs> why do you care so much? But there's such a good part of that where yeah. I know that he cares about his family. He loves mm-hmm. us. He is going to do whatever he can and to take care of us. And I know that. And maybe he doesn't always like say, I'm always going to take care of you, but his actions show it mm-hmm. um, so much. And I mean, I don't know very many, you know, 27 year old guys with three kids that would just be as stable and as, you know, we've, we've had a crazy marriage already. We're going on six years and just like the amount of stuff that we've gone through together and, um, the way he stayed strong and he's, um, been kind of a rock for me, um, is, yeah, it's amazing. And so I just, I find times and moments where I can just really let him know whether or not whether it's to his face or whether it's mm-hmm. through social media just let him know like i noticed what you did today mm-hmm. i appreciate it you know i know oh. your life is just as crazy as mine you go to work every day but i know that when you get home it's chaos and i just i notice you and i appreciate you oh. and reminding him that i want to be on his team mm-hmm. like i want to be his teammate i want to be in this together i don't yeah. want to fight you know <laughs> yeah. So that's probably that was a long yes. answer, but no, no, that was perfect. That's actually <laughs> okay. really sweet. You know, um, I'm like realizing like more and more as Bobby gets older, like how important it is to um, be teammates with my spouse. Like, um, and you know, so it, it's fun to ask. Like, I, I th- you're the first person I've asked, but I think I'm gonna ask oh. this question more. Like, cool. it is because I think it's important. Like, um, you know, we've we've only been married two and a half years, and so we're still working it out. Like. Oh, like, you know, figuring out each other's quirks still, it feels like. So, right. um, right. So, yeah, I don't know. That's, I'm glad that came to mind for um, this episode. (laughs) That's awesome. Um, But, anyways, I love that. I think that's so beautiful. And it definitely shows, definitely shows. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to end with a couple fun questions. Okay. Um, The first would be Do you have a favorite product for yourself or for your kids that you're loving right now? Oh man, I could not live without my minivan. Yeah, <laughs> I full on get that on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, go pick it up on yeah, two day shipping. Um, yeah. yeah, my minivan's great, and I know a lot of people are like anti minivan, oh, nice. but yeah, all, I all could away. not. <laughs> I like have a handful of groceries, and I use my remote to open all my doors before yes. I get there. And it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, oh. and we didn't. We had one car for our entire time being what? together until like when did we get it november we got the minivan and so wow. yeah it's like get it maybe I, yeah that's a great <laughs> i wish i had me, one that people could actually buy on your I know. <laughs> brandon and i have like uh talked about getting a minivan um i don't know Do that we it. Need it quite yet but i know but i, I know, matter. like i don't who cares how, if they look funny like we just yeah, don't really no. care about that anyways so yeah um, definitely going to think about that in the future. <laughs> yeah. It's the best thing. You ever, sold me so. with the grocery thing and the, yes. yeah, that, that's amazing to yeah. me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, okay, cool. And then do you guys have a favorite holiday family tradition? Well, Luca and Lainey's birthday is in the same month. And so that has just been really fun. I know it's not a holiday, but that, yeah, <laughs> they're, it's not a holiday, but it is in our house because yeah. it's two birthday parties at once and we just go all out and I try Aww. and make it, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do their birthday party together, probably, <laughs> hopefully forever, but you know, Aww. they will be teenagers. Yeah. Um, but I, it's been so fun because they are just, they're really good friends right now. So mm. um, I just love that. And Adam's really into decorating. Like, he's the most, like, hospitable person I know. Really? So he, yeah, I am not Aww. at all. So he, <laughs> every holiday, he goes all out decorating. So, like, right now, our house is covered in, like, spider webs for Halloween. And no just way. Crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. So he's good at that. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so great. Okay. And then um, a piece of advice you'd give to a new mom. Ooh. 
Um, let yourself off the hook. Like I said, um, there's going to be so many moments where you feel like there's no way I should be doing this. I'm the wrong person. Um, but those moments help you grow and, um, you learn. Another thing is, um, just teach yourself and your kids to be kind always. I think kindness is really powerful and the more kind kids we have, the more kind adults we have. Um, so that, and to laugh at yourself. If you follow me on Instagram, yeah, (laughs) that's so wise. Constantly (laughs) making jokes about the chaos because there's nothing I can do about Mm. it. Um, and I want to let people know that this is the way life is and you know, it's crazy. And yeah, so that was kind of three. Sorry, but no, that's so good. I yeah, keep it coming. If you have more, that's so good. I like the following you on Instagram one the most. I think. Yes. You know, if you ever think, "Wow, my life's crazy," just follow me. <laughs> I give a daily rant, so you know. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> awesome. Well, well, I, I'll add the link to your Instagram on the oh, show yeah. notes for peeps. Cool. Cool. Yay. <laughs> oh, Ali, thank you so much for being on the show with me. This thank is you so for fun. Me. This was yes. so fun. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's interview. Please share this with a friend if it impacted you in any way and leave a review on iTunes so other mamas can hear the truth that they are enough and they are doing their very best. Be sure to catch up on what's happening in the Mommy Space community every day on Instagram at Mommy Space. And you can email me at mommyspace at gmail.com for questions or interview recommendations. All my love to you, mama. You're amazing. See you next week. Just to say that I'm the one you love It's so like you to do the best for one The best for love It's so like you to do the best for one The best for love